Morning, YouTube! I'm a little worked up right now because I was playing Smash Brothers Ultimate and I'm running into some real tough battles and I'm like full of rage right now. Um, and, and I'm only like not even halfway through this mode and, and I'm already having trouble so I'm just imagining what the rest of it's going to be like. But uh, anyways, this isn't about video games. This is about the Leafs. Uh, they played in Ottawa last night and Sheldon Keefe chose to start... Um, uh, Jack Campbell instead of Freddie. Uh, Freddie was back for his first game after missing three or four uh, the game previous and uh, when they lost to Dallas and I think the thinking was that they'd give him one more day because it's a back-to-back -back situation they play again tonight I think against Pittsburgh. Um, so give Freddie an extra day because both goalies are going to have to play during these two games so give him a, an extra day to rest against the tougher opposition and give Campbell the Senators. But also Campbell's been playing great, so... Um, is this like a goaltending controversy in the making? Like, uh, he's only played four games for the Leafs so far, but he's looked really good. And uh, is it really a controversy, though, when you have two goalies that are playing well, you know? Um, or, I mean, Fred hasn't... That Dallas game, too, that, that first goal was a bit weak through the wickets. Um, but I mean, you can't have guys coming in alone all the time. So it's, it's also, it's kind of his fault, but also kind of not. So it's just one of those things, uh, that they hung him out to dry a couple times in his first game back. So what do you do? So I think that was the thinking in, in giving Campbell's game last night is give Fred an extra day, um, to kind of get rest, get practiced and, and just get kind of back to his regular self. But, uh, but I would love it if Campbell keeps running with it when he gets the chance. I mean, especially if they're able to make the playoffs and uh, you get an injury or one of them starts to falter, you know you you can fall back on another guy who's going to give you um, some some good starts, right? So so this is this all bodes well for me. Um, in terms of the game last night, the first period was like uh, lo high pace, low chance, um, which have been, a lot of the Leafs starts have been like that. They've been a really good pace to the game, but uh, the Dallas, the Arizona game, it's all these defensive battles uh, that that really greatly limit the, the the total shots taken. And But last night they were saying, like, I think the shots at the end of the first period were like, I don't know, they were like 9-7 Ottawa or 7-5 Ottawa, something like that. They were low, uh, but they kept saying Ottawa's got like 27 attempts at the net, right? So either they're shooting wide or the Leafs are blocking them, so... Um, so Ottawa did have, I think, carried, uh, kind of the edge in the play uh, of, of the first period, but, but again, not that many shots got on each net. And, uh, the only goal that went in was, uh, it was a leaf goal. It was Matthew's 42nd goal of the year, putting him in a tie again for the, for the goal scoring lead in the NHL. And it was kind of a broken play as the Leafs entered the Ottawa zone. It kind of got chipped up and he just swooped down on the left wing and uh, a defenseman was 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 tight to him, so he just kind of cut towards the net, and from a sharp a sharp angle, just with his quick release, just uh, put it through the legs uh, without the goalie really realizing what had happened. So, <laughs> so uh, and that's what he can do, right? He's got that that quick release and that accurate shot. So, Leafs were up one nothing one nothing after the first. Second period is when the Leafs uh, the pace was still good, and the Leafs started. That was that seems to be the way it goes. The first period is fast-paced, low chance, and sometimes the Leafs are the better team, sometimes they're not. But the second period is when they really start seeming to pick up their socks, and and that's when they start taking it to the other team. And that's again what happened in in the second period of this game. They really started to roll. They got the two first goals of the period. Um, the first one was Muzzin, which was his first goal in about 35 games. It was uh, they were kind of working it around the zone. And then it came back to him at the point, and he just quickly got off uh, a wrist shot from his off foot, and and it was um, it just there was like four guys right in front of the net, all battling for position, and somehow it went through that scrum, and uh, the goalie had no chance. It was a, a massive screen, and then so that was early in the period, and then just past the halfway point, uh, Nylander got one, it, and it was almost by accident. It was um, again the Leafs were kind of scrambling in the Ottawa end. It came out front to Tavares in the slot, and he just put a wrist shot on net. And Nylander was just kind of cruising in front of the net, and it was the shot was taken from so close to the net that he tipped it, but it was just like accidental. He was just there, and it hit his stick. It was so so in tight that he didn't really have time to react, but it ended up being a good thing anyway. So, so Nylander got the Leafs' third goal there, and uh, 
later in the period, Ottawa would break the shutout. Um, it was kind of unfortunate. Barry was um, uh, settling things down in his own end, and he went to reverse it to, to the defenseman on the other side of the net, and the puck hit the linesman's skate and kind of bounced in behind the net. Ottawa swooped in on it, and uh, bing, bang, goalie had no chance, uh, kind of cross-crease pass. And, and so that was unfortunate that they got their goal off kind of one of those, uh, you know, hit the ref skates plays. You always hate to see that. But they were heading into the third period up 3-1. But as we all know, the third periods are the Leafs' Achilles heel right now. Fortunately, finally, they were able to lock it down. Ottawa did get a goal uh, at some point in the first half of the period, I think it was. It was uh, kind of a, a far-out wrist shot from the from the left side boards. And uh, there was a, there was a bit of a scrum in front of the net, and I don't think Campbell was able to see it. And the shot went right through one of the Ottawa players, Duclair's legs, I think. And as it went through his legs, I think it hit part of his pants or something and just kind of redirected a bit and went, like, perfectly top corner. So, again, it was one of those goals where it's like, what do you do, right? So, so both of those goals, you couldn't fault Campbell at all. And uh, he had a really good game. And, uh, and then the Leafs were able to lock it down from there, and Marner... Did a high flip eventually when Ottawa had the net goalie pulled and the net empty, and it went straight dead center, and uh, that sealed the Leafs 4-2 win against Ottawa. And uh, Ottawa's played them really good this year. I actually thought the Leafs had lost to them at least once, maybe twice this year, but they have beaten them all three times now. But uh, that's not the impression that I get from, from their games this year. I, they've been hard-fought battles. So um, the good players in the game, the, the big guys were all good. Um and they all got points. Uh, I believe Marner got some points. Uh, but Matthews got a goal. Nylander got a goal. Tafara's got an assist on the Nylander goal. And, oh yeah, and Mitchie got the empty net. Plus, he may have picked up some helpers. I don't know. But uh, they were all there. Uh, I thought Kerfoot had a really good game. He uh, He's so dece deceptively fast that uh, he causes fits in the other team's end. And he's also get, able to get the Leafs out of trouble kind of in his own end and in the neutral zone. I thought he was really kind of serpentine all over the place uh, using his speed to to get out of jams and set up some stuff in the offensive zone. Kapanen again had another strong game using his speed. Again, he's got that finish trouble and uh and 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 it didn't serve him well in that game either, but his speed and his in his uh his get up and go. He had some good shots when he did take them and uh I thought he was good again. Some of the Leafs are are have fallen on harder times. Gauthier hasn't scored in a while. Um, Engvall, after being really hot there for a while, he seems to have slowed down a bit. Um, not that they're not trying and, and, and trying to get their chances, but they're just, uh, that's, that's the way hockey goes sometimes. Like you get on these streaks and it's almost like it's too easy. The puck follows you and you get all these chances and it's so easy to convert. And then you get into these little slumps and you still work your ass off and it's like nothing goes right. So it's, that's just the way it goes. So I expect, uh, you know them all to all work out of it eventually but um but yeah it's too bad because Engball has been a been a revelation this year other than that oh, so tired I had ball hockey last night and I got home and watched the Leafs game I didn't see any of the third period <laughs> I had to watch the third period afterwards on on the uh the replay so um I didn't I fell asleep on the couch at the th start of the third period and didn't wake up until like two in the morning um but yeah we lost our semi Oh yeah, our semifinal ball hockey game. I'm getting off topic here, but um, it was semifinal. So if we'd won, we would have gone to the finals next weekend. And so the first period, uh, I scored on a, on a rebound chance, and we were up one nothing until I think the end of the second period, and then the the other team tied it up. So then it stayed one one until the end of the third period. So in it normally just goes to a shootout in the regular season, but because it was a playoff game, it went to a five minute overtime. <laughs> And it was a bit of controversy. It was it was hilarious. It, too, it was too bad for us, but um, we we were on a bit of a rush, and uh, one of the girls threw it up to me on the wing, and it was, the pass was a bit in front of me, so I chased it into the corner, and I looked around, and there was nothing really, nobody really to pass it to that was open, so I just threw the ball on goal from like the goal line, and it hit the goalies like behind the goalies blocker and kind of trickled down through his pads and behind him and it did drop into the net and then as it was doing that all their players came back and were like piling on and trying to get the puck out of the net or the ball out of the net and the goalie fell into the post and the net came off 
And, uh, but it was in. But the refs, because nobody was behind the net or even in the zone, they were like, well, we didn't see it go in. But all their players were like heads down and cursing and swearing. It was like so obvious the ball had gone in the net. But because they didn't see it go in, the goal didn't count. And a minute later, they scored and won, and they're going to the finals. And uh, But the thing is, they know they didn't win. They know they shouldn't be going to the finals. We know, so... And we were the better team all game anyway, so we should be there. But uh, So that was kind of... I've been waiting for a game-winning goal just in general. This like Since I started playing last summer, I always get like... I seem to always get a go-ahead goal or the first goal of the game. So I always am in a position to get a goal, game-winning goal. But then it always seems the other team ties it up on one of my goals. And I'm like... Gah! So like last night, playoffs in overtime was like my first... Looked like my game-winning goal. And it was taken back. So... I don't get worked up about that stuff, so I was just like, oh, whatever. But it, it was still kind of shitty that it happened. So so that was the way our ball hockey winter season ended. So, But we'll see if we can reverse those results come the spring. So anyways, that was kind of the whole day of hockey, how it all unfolded yesterday. And uh, oh, I'm sorry. I'm so tired. I'm so old. Um, I'm going to have some more videos coming. I got some other stuff in the works that I got to do. So in the meantime... This is what you got for now. I'll have another Leafs video tomorrow because I think they play Pittsburgh tonight. I got some comics to report on. And you all know there's going to be an unboxing coming at some point this long weekend. So uh, until then, enjoy your Sunday. And uh, yeah, that's all.